When the prisoner first arrives at the penal colony, he is assigned a vocation that could range from farming to construction. Depending on his performance and behavior, the inmate will be moved from a maximum security to a medium security compound and eventually be given the right to live in small communities. Less than 200 inmates are locked up in prison cells. The rest can enjoy the spoils of the estate. I want to witness firsthand the kind of freedom entrusted to the inmates, so without the escort of any guards, I'm meeting a group of prisoners living in a self-contained community. Dito sa area na ito, bali 54 kami lahat katawang nakatira dito. Ngayon, pag uh, nalibing out ka, nabibigyan ka ng area kung saan ka po pwedeng magtayo ng sarili mong bahay. Ngayon, yung mga materialis naman <coughs> dyan magkukunin sa may kabundukan na yan. Ngayon, pag nakuha na yan dyan, tutulungan ka ng mga kasama mong maggawa. Yung may mga kaibigan ka rito, pero mas importante na ikaw yung kusang gagawa talaga ng sarili mong bahay. Hindi po pwede yung... Baboy, also known as Mayor Baboy, has served more than nine years in Iwahig and is a democratically elected leader of this self-governing community of inmates. Oh, wow. It's my pet. It's your pet. Yeah. You want to hold it? Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> Let's do this. Ooh. Nice and cool. Oh, wow, look at that. Feels so cool. <laughs> Apart from exotic pets for company, the inmates are allowed to forage in the forest for resources to supplement their lifestyle. Sariling provide na namin yun yun para lang maiba naman yung yung pagkain namin. Sarili na lang. Given the limited resources you have, this house is absolutely impressive. And you've got interweaving of the bamboo there. You've got wood frame, grass roofing. I have to say, you guys have a fantastic view. You've got the river and the mountains in the background. Spectacular. He knows that he's going to just kick my butt, man. Home court advantage. This is probably a table he built himself. Okay, game. The communal nature of Iwahig helps inmates form deep bonds inside the prison. But I wonder how they will fare once they head out into the real world. <laughs> So I won, right? Yes, yes, I won. Yes. Okay, okay. Gentleman's <laughs> honor. Go on, you Hey, thank you, though. I am oh, sure yeah. you took it easy on me. Huh? <laughs> now, Mayor, I've been walking around this compound. I mean, what is it like to live here? Okay, lang naman sir. Minsan masaya, minsan malungkot, pero mas malimit yung malungkot, mahirap. Mahirap ang buhay namin kasi rito. Ah, siyempre sir, ma malayo kami sa pamilya namin. Tsaka dito, bawat kilos namin may numero. May mga sinusunod kaming patakaran. Ah, kahit nasa isang libong kabutihan namin, isang pagkakamali lang kung pwedeng masira kami ulit. Balik kami sa dati, mapupunta kami sa maximum category. Kaya kailangan yung kilos namin lahat. Pino. It is easy to forget that these men are prisoners and this land is essentially a prison with invisible walls. But this is the song that I wrote kind of inspired from just hanging out with you guys today. Hey there, brother. What's going on with you? I said, hey there, brother. What's going on? me feel so sad to see you blue. There are very few places in the world like Iwahig. It started off with a very dark past, but today the transformation is amazing. Inmates are free to wander around, to work their own fields. There's not a security guard in sight. I wonder if this system should be in place everywhere. 
Give me a prison without walls and a cell without a key. I'm waiting for the day when the captives will be set free. Throughout my journey in the Philippines, I've seen how a country and its people are shaped by a volatile past. From learning what it is like to be led by a president who ruled with an iron fist, to witnessing the grueling rite of passage of ancient warriors, and experiencing the transformative power of a radical prison facility. My exploration and unique discoveries have shown me that the Philippines is more than a land blessed with stunning landscapes. Hundreds of years of struggle against foreign powers have shaped the country and the stories that it has to tell. And I am excited to unearth even more.